Good day everyone. Welcome to a demo of the mobile work order and plant maintenance solution from uh, Innovaptive. Um, this particular solution is delivered as a prepackaged add-on for your central dispatchers to proactively schedule and assign work orders to field technicians to perform their day-to-day -day tasks. Uh, field technicians can now receive new work orders as push notifications uh, with, you know, with real-time priorities to avoid any potential equipment failure, unexpected downtime, safety or environmental risks, or unmet production quotas. All of this uh, which negatively impact your production revenues, right? Um, in terms of the key features of the solution itself, um, it has um, the ability to receive and update work orders. You can get directions via GIS or GPS. Um, you can view installed base listings, access equipment details, dependencies, as well as maintenance history. Uh, you can view interactive part schematics. Uh, you can follow guided workflows, steps, and instructions. You can install and geotag equipment, perform maintenance, inspections, and repairs, track and automatically repair, uh, report status, progress, and location of uh, your uh, materials and uh, equipment in the field. You can also capture readings, measurements, and photos, and push them in real time back to your SAP system and store that information in SAP. You can record problems, actions, you can record time, parts, and materials. And finally, you can, as you know, one of the core functionalities of the application is you can create work orders and notifications on the spot. So let me quickly um, launch a few of these uh, uh, functionality and show you how uh, the screen flows work and how the functionality of the application uh, works. So here I'm going to go into um, a display work order screen. Uh, so I can search to bring up a list of work orders that are assigned to me as a user. Uh, so your users will be able to go and launch, you know, at the start of their day, launch all the work orders that's due for them. Uh, they'll be able to sort these work orders based on priority uh, or date or status. All your sort characteristics are at the bottom of the screen. Uh, so if you sort by priority, you'll see on the left side of the screen, um, it's color coded to specify uh, the priority of the work order. In addition, you also have predictive search capability built into the application. So if you're looking for a specific work order um, based on, let's say, you know, a type of uh, equipment, say you're looking for a pump, you can just uh, start typing in um, the information, right? And then based on what, you know, the, the values that you typed in, the data is automatically sorted um, and filtered. Um, and you can pull up that uh, work order uh, in real time. You also have the capability to filter. So all the filter criteria are configurable. So you can set up specific filter criteria uh, to suit your business requirements and have that show up on the screen. So drilling down, once you go into a specific work order so you'll see on the right side um, the work order information so you have four different tabs here uh, and one tab for attachments so I have the header information I also have operations so you can see the different operations that are associated to a specific work order you also have components um, for that specific work order uh, so you can you know shows by material the different components that are part of this work order um, you can also get attachments so it has uh, the application has full DMS integration capability, so any document management system that you your enterprise leverages can be integrated within the application. And you know, work manuals, step-by-step -step guides, uh, additional documents can be extracted from the back end and displayed on the mobile device. In addition, you can also add attachments. So if you wish to take photos or attach photos within um, this application, you can go and you know integrate that to your camera functionality of uh, this tablet here and extract photos, clip photos, and push them to the backend system. Um, drilling down into specific functionality, um, on the operation side, you can add operations. So you have the plus uh, button at the top right to add operations. So you can click on add button to add operations. Uh, similarly, you can request additional components if there's, you know, uh, a damage to a component, you can request additional component and then place a requisition for uh, the parts, the replacement parts that are needed to complete this work order. 
so this is a high level overview of uh, the display work order screen. Um, now, if I go one step back, you can also create work orders. So creation of a work order is um, extremely simple. Uh, you hit the create button and you have a form um, with the key fields that are needed by a engineer or a technician on the field to create the work order. Uh, so every single screen that you see here is fully configurable, leveraging what is known as race technology uh, from Innovaptive. So race stands for rapid app configurator engine so what that means is we've built a framework uh, where you can go in and through simple drag and drop uh, push a few buttons configure what fields you need on what specific screen so you'll be able to select a screen name and then go and pick and choose what fields are available there and what fields you need to expose to your end users um, by a simple click of a button and all this without writing a single line of code uh, so here I can select work order type, um, you can select priority, so based on different priorities, uh, you can select a plant, select New York as my plant, and you can key in the description of the work order. Um, so you can, you know, if the screens are big, you can expand the screen and key in um, information here, and once you start putting in information, you'll have your mandatory fields, uh, you'll have your optional fields, so you can pick and choose to configure what fields are required, what are optional, um, and you can go through the different screen flows to add operations, to add components, and even add attachments. You can capture images on here. So it gives you the full-blown capability to create your own work orders. Um, then you can go ahead and um, save this work order um, to be able to assign it to a specific uh, user uh, who will be responsible for processing the work order. The next application of the mobile work order solution is the ability to create and display notifications. Um, so the user can go into the notification screen to display a list of notifications that's been assigned to uh, him or her. Uh, again, it's it has the sort capability, the filter capabilities to filter through the notifications. Once you click on the notification, it has the information that's uh, tied to the notification. Um, it has reference um, objects, um, the specific items, tasks, activities, um, as well as full attachment capability, as well as geolocation capability. So if your users are looking to map uh, a route, you know, it is, it's extremely simple um, with the G GPS capability within the applications. Um, in addition, there's a one-stop uh, convert to work order screen. So in this case, I just push the, the create work order at the top right, and then I can go back and create a work order uh, from the notification without having to input uh, a whole lot of information. Um, so that's the create work order. So once the user starts processing a notification, um, you know, they can change it to the edit mode, uh, input the information that's required, and start activities around uh, the notification. Moving on, the next functionality is, you know, creating um, measuring points, entering uh, inspection information, rounds information uh, within the application. So you can search for specific uh, measuring point lists that's been generated um, in your backend SAP system. So the application pulls um, the data from SAP, shows you a list of open measuring points um, that have been uh, entered in the system. Um, you can sort this information based on, let's say, equipment. So this is sorted based on specific equipment, which you see uh, in the top left of the screen. And you, in addition, you can also sort it based on functional location. So you can, um, if your users are more focused on, you know, sorting based on functional location, that can be done on uh, the functional location side as well. Uh, going into a specific measuring point, it's extremely simple um, to key in the data. Um, user clicks on the measuring point, it shows them the different characteristics, the general data, counter data, as well as the upper or lower limits. Um, you can go into historical data to see what uh, the, the historical readings have been and even convert this into a graphical 
interface to display the data in a graphical format. If you have specific instructions or work instructions for taking readings, that can be attached in the attachment fields. Um, so once the user goes into the, uh, the measuring point screen, they just go to the edit mode, um, put in the over counter reading, put in the annual estimate, save the work, uh, save the measuring point, uh, which gets updated into the back end in real time. Moving on, um, the application also has the ability to search and display equipment information. So you can pull down a list of equipment. So this is uh, fully configurable in terms of who has access to what equipment data. Um, so you can pull down all the list of equipment by status or by category. So this has um, both functionality. So you can turn on and turn off the status functionality. Um, and pull data so here my category is machines um, and i click on a machine you have all associated equipment information for that machine right so from the manufacturer so this is uh, all master data associated with the equipment uh, can be contained in here so the top tabs give you the different fields so this is the general data tab you have the organizational data which is a company code the plan person responsible and the work center you have the structure, which is a functional location, a technical identity number, and a construction material type. You have the warranty information. You also have the measuring points counters that are tied to um, this piece of equipment. You also have attachments. So if you have work information, specific um, items to the equipment, you have that in the attachment screen. And if your work equipment is uh, geotag, geolocation, if it's based on a location-based system, then you can pull it up on a map as well. Right? So you can create notifications from equipment screen. Uh, so there's a create notification button at the top right side of uh, the equipment screen where you can click on that and um, create a notification by a single click of a button. Similar to the equipment screen, you also have the functional locations. Um, you know, screen layout is extremely simple. Um, you can click on the functional location sorted based on status or category. Um, so here, are different functional locations. So if you want to see, um, you know, information about the loca of the location, the structure, the classification, as well as the measuring points, all the summarized data is available for your specific functional locations. Um, so overall, the application gives you the full-blown flexibility to manage work orders, notifications, equipment, measuring points, and functional locations. In addition to the basic functionality of the application, um, all of our mobile solutions come with what we call RACE, or Rapid App Configurator Engine, which is a web-based toolkit that you can leverage to configure and customize the solution. Um, as part of this demo, um, I'll show you a few of the configurable options that are available within uh, the application itself. So the first one um, is going to focus on um, configuring specific functionality within the application. So as an end user or customer, you can pick and choose what functionality uh, you want to turn on. So basically you're delivered a blank screen or a blank canvas where you can turn on specific functionality that um, you want to enable uh, within your business. So now I'm turning on four tiles here, work orders, notification, measuring point and equipment. Um, all the, the configuration is transmitted in real time to the mobile device. So what that means is when the user logs on the next time or he just refreshes the screen, your users can uh, you know, view all the changes that have been made um, on the back end on the configuration utility and that shows up on the device in, in real time. So I can add two more tiles and you know that shows up on the app right away. Um, so in addition to that there's um, a few other additional features um, that are enabled uh, in terms of a configuration uh, feature. Um, one is um, searching uh, you every single screen that you see here is, is fully configurable so right now I am on a search screen to basically search work orders so I can go in and configure that screen as easy as selecting my module selecting my screen and then I can look for specific fields that I want to turn on 
Um, so here in this case, you know, let's say I want to turn on equipment. I can turn on um, a start date and a finish date. Um, I can also turn on location because that will help me search easier. And I can also turn on a work center. And so once you turn on specific fields, um, there's nothing that needs to be done on the app side, um, just a refresh so that the services get regenerated. And when you go back to the screen, you'll see all the additional fields that got added and they're added in real time. In addition, I also have barcode scannable fields. So what that means is you can turn on and turn off barcode scannable fields uh, with the simple click of a button um, so that uh, all changes show up in real time on the mobile device. Um, in addition to you know turning on fields, there's a whole list of functionality that's available. Um, so you can add custom UI labels, custom field descriptions. You can rearrange the order of the fields. Um, you can change the type of fields. You know how you want to input data. So this is right now a scan field. So you can change that to a text field. Um, you can also add default values to specific fields so a user doesn't have to key in the information uh, when they access the app you can do custom validation messages so overall um, the rapid app configurator engine or the race toolkit kind of resolves close to about you know 90 percent of customization challenges that you know typical customers face when they deploy a solution such as this and for the other 10 percent we do provide open endpoints open user exits within the applications that um, can be used to configure um, above and beyond what race brings to the table. Thank you.